Would you believe it? Would you believe it if I said it, everyone? That I'm not well prepared right now. <laughs> I don't know how this always happens. I always seem to get in here and I always start, I get everything made. New thumbnail, new title, everything for the uh, for the video. And then all of a sudden, it comes down to the, the few minutes before we start. And then all of a sudden, it just... <laughs> no, I'm not ready. I don't know how it always happens. Oh, man. But here we are. We're going to be fishing for some catfish today. I'm excited about it. Gilded, Red Dale. People keep bringing it up to me. When is the next River Monsters video going to be coming out? And I always say, I can't put out the next River Monsters video until we're able to catch the next river monsters in the freaking video, which is the unique red tail, the unique gilded, and the unique piraiba. I've never caught a unique piraiba before. Um, I've, I used to be able to catch red tails and gilded all the time, and, and now it's become a, a difficult thing. So anyway, we're gonna go out today. Last time we did this during a live stream, I don't think we caught a unique the entire time. We fished for gilded and red tails for two hours straight, never caught one uh, a unique one anyway but today we're gonna test it we're gonna test it again so i hope you're excited who's in the chat we got the cameraman uh bl i can't is it just blonde bronco i guess rj gaming julian max is fishing and boating adventures kavita charles jake uh lewis jackson the cameraman crypt 
Cole Westside, Yosef, Andy, Yo Fish. Is it Joe Fish or Yo Fish? Tyler P. Uh, Cam Tony, Andy, Yosef, Suspect, Tyler, Scarlet King, Brody. Right on, right on, right on, right on. Well, I tell you what, I've got notes here. Got notes here. What are we doing? We need to have huge cut bait. We need to make sure we have freshwater crabs. Let's make sure we got that. Huge cut bait. I think we got huge cut bait. Yeah, we got huge cut bait in here. Freshwater crabs is another thing we want. And then I also want to experiment with something else. There they are. Wait, we just pressed. There we go. Freshwater crabs. Um, and then I also want to get some catfish stuff. I think instead of using instead of using sinkers, we're going to actually use uh, like feeders. So let's get some heavy feeders to throw out there. Go with these guys. Pretty pretty heavy. And then once we put stuff inside them, they'll be even heavier. Um, so we're gonna throw that out there. And we're gonna also throw in some catfish feed. I'm not sure if we have. Don't believe we have it. Do, 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 do. Looking, looking, looking. Don't see it. Okay. We're gonna add some catfish feeder. Where are ya? Where are ya? Ground bait. Catfish, catfish, catfish. Catfish, catfish, catfish. You're just being stupid. Catfish destroyer. Okay. It was the golden one anyway. Catfish destroyer. Make sure we get a couple of those. We're going to experiment with Catfish Destroyer as well. Um, I'm not sure if there's anything else we want to throw in with it. I don't think there really is anything. Particles. Any particles that would be good for Catfish. Doesn't look like it. Aromas. Spicy worms. Would that, would that get a Catfish going? Carp. Big whitefish. Carp. Bream. Carp. No, I'm not seeing anything that that a big catfish might go for. So we might just go with the catfish destroyer for now. We got that. Let's go ahead. We're going to throw on dot hooks. Let's throw on some dot hooks right now before we get started. You guys can can take notes if you want to. It's not that big of a deal. We're just we're just getting everything ready. But if you want to get yourselves ready for, for doing the same thing, you can. dots. we're going to throw them on the match rods too. A dots and then we're gonna throw on freshwater crab and huge oh wait 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 freshwater crab and large livers I guess Do we have large livers out here where the heck are the large livers do we even have any oh we don't have any large livers hello there you are now we've got them and said we had more in our freaking well where are they? there they are got them <laughs> freshwater crab on one rod then we're gonna put a large liver on the other same with this one freshwater crab and a large liver and then we'll mix the catfish destroyer once we get to the location got plenty of it so we should be good there anywho Let's get to the, uh, let's get to Marone River, shall we, everyone? I need to buy, I need to buy a license real quick. Okay. I think we're good. I think we're good. Anywho, who's, who's chatting away here? Akmal, hello. Volci, hopefully I said that correctly. Volci, 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 Joseph, hi. Any tips for leveling up to level 44? You better believe it. E-E-S-S, -S, my man. <laughs> if you thought there was more, you're sadly mistaken. We're gonna do a friends only room. Feel free to join in if you want to. Boy, we have six days in a row of this one weather. So I guess we're just gonna enjoy it and make the most of it. Maybe it's a horrible day to be fishing. We're gonna find out. <laughs> like, where should you go? San Joaquin, baby. Yeah, woo woo. Fishing at Mudwater River and was wondering what species I should target for money. I like catching catfish, but they don't seem to pay well. Yep, catfish are absolute dirt. Don't fish for catfish. Uh, fish for the bass. The bass and the pickerel. 
you'll be you'll find plenty of bass there if you haven't found the free to play series check it out all right this is a new location we're going to be fishing at today i'm not sure if we can look at the uh check this out don't believe if we zoom in it'll tell us anything different but we are just gonna throw one like right i don't know if it really matters we're gonna aim for pretty much right in between right there maybe kind of as we're coming straight to that location let's get a good throw here boyos i love how i say throw instead of cast castings for for fools we're here to throw stuff you wound your last stream I wound your last dream. Easy, yeah, I'm blah, 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 I read that good deal, so we're all set there. <laughs> These uh, match rods are gonna drift with the river. And that is a okay. This freshwater crab, however, is going to stay in one spot. That's good. Throw that down. Get the large liver out. We've got a few different locations for catfish around here on the Maroon River. We're just going to see if anything pays off. Oh, no. We never mixed the catfish destroyer. Darn it all. Why didn't anyone remind me? <laughs> oh, God. 26 ounces. Okay. Yes. Let me mix it, please. So confused. Why won't you let me mix? Stupid. What is the song you played at the beginning before you started the stream? Um, through through the night, I think, by Killrude. I think I've answered that question enough that I actually remember the song. It's T-H-R-U, through the night. Not to get you confused at all. Oh, we got beeps going on. I'm going to reel this puppy in. That one's got some beeps going on, but I'm going to reel this guy in and put that catfish destroyer in it. And that little method lead thing. Not method lead, feeder, whatever. Come here, you. There we go. Get some catfish destroyer going in there. That's gonna get those catfish talking. They're gonna go, whoa! You ready to get destroyed, bro? You better believe it. Basically, a, basically a drug. It's like a, like what is it that cats love? Um, I am just blanking right now. Someone knows. Someone remind me. Catnip? Catnip. I didn't need anyone's help. I didn't look at the chat. I didn't look at the chat. I'm sure people would know what I was talking about, though. <laughs> I knew it had cat in the title. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, there's a take. There's a take with the catnip. The catnip destroyer. This is basically... Dude, that's amazing. How we... We... we compared it to catnip and then and then we're also fishing for catfish i didn't even create that relation until right now this is basically catfish nip that sounds weird when you say that <laughs> any tips for you just starting absolutely watch the free to play beginner series and i'll get you on your way how are you yosef says i'm doing quite well thanks for asking yosef darcy how's it going Eight ten leveling up to 58 Yes, sir. Catch fish. That's it, man. It's an easy game. Honestly, when you when you sit back and really think about it, it's all about catching fish, you know? So uh, if you're wondering how to level up, just catch fish. Wondering how to make money? Catch fish. How to get to the next location? Catch fish. It's the same. It's basically 
uh, a secondary EESS. You know, EESS was the answer for everything, um, and catch fish is the secondary answer for everything. If you have a question in Fishing Planet, the answer is catch fish. What is the best rod in the game? Just catch fish. Don't think about it. Just catch fish. Don't think about what the best rod in the game is. Where's the best location to be fishing? Doesn't matter. Just catch fish. You know? It works. Here's our first red tail, though. We're freaking skiing them in here on top. <laughs> Come in here, you you fat tub of lard. 49 pounder. Goodness gracious. Whoa! First Mambo, Mambo Jumbo here. Putting up some strain. New update on RF4 that was released eight hours ago. I, I know that, yeah, I, I saw that. It was a bunch of stuff. Nothing super exciting in my eyes, but it was a bunch of stuff. That's for sure. So does the weather affect fishing? It certainly does. Changes uh, the hours that you can be fishing. Some uh, some days are better for fishing some fish than others. So it, it certainly certainly affects it in that way. What you're able to see on the weather report affects the fishing. If it's raining or something like that, probably doesn't matter. Honestly. You do a stream or videos, especially with carp or spot rods, please. You know, we have a lot of videos over the carp and spot rods. If you want to watch those, you can. Um, but for now, we're going to be targeting some catfish. This has got to be a trophy at least. He's a mambo jumbo, dude. But we're giving him the old meat down, beat down, smack down, pa pack down. I can't remember what he says. <laughs> smack down, pack down, back down. Don't back down because we're going to smack you down. Something like that. Can you get a lot of XP from Blue Crab? Over time, catching lots of fish, you better believe it. If anyone is struggling with leveling up from 50 to 60, the Taman at Slang are doing good for me compared to the Sturgeon, but either farm Sturgeon or Taman. Can you believe it? Another fish at a higher level location gives better XP than one below it? That's wild to think about. What do I do now that I just hit level 80 on Fishing Plan and have the best of everything? Any tips? Give up. Just stop playing. Go play something else. Go check out Russian Fishing 4. Uh, yeah. You you beat you beat it. You beat the game. Give yourself a round of applause. Pat on the bat if you if you want. Give you just reach back there. Do that, little mamma jamma. Um. Go play another game. Wait for another update, I guess. You did it. That's why I always tell people, it's it's not a race to get to the end. Cuz once you get to the end, the game's over. You're going to it's not fun anymore. The entire journey is the fun of Fishing Planet. Once you get to the end, it's boring. Do tournaments, I guess. Psst. Other than that, beat every mission in the game. Come here, you. What are you doing? Silly goober. And he is really putting up a good fight. On the Congo rod, even. Boy, these old unicorns. I haven't seen the unicorns for a long time chasing after these catfish. Trophy gilded! Oh, man. You sure got me excited, man. You sure got me excited for a second and you're just a trophy golly that's okay though look at the whiskers on him that is a wingspan man whisker span is what he is top notch well i'll keep him i guess 8300 xp that's something boy the match rods did diddly squat didn't they we're gonna have to reel those in maybe increase the depth increase the depth that they're going down there See if we can do some do something better. Uh, there is new idea. Uh, reset. Uh, yep, I, I don't know that. Hey yo, hey yo, Sadie Stales in the house. How's it going, Sadie? Throw this out there. Born into the. Okay, I have flies flying around my face all day. I don't know how they all got into my house, but it's been freaking driving me insane. So if you just see me just going. 
like this out of randomness, it's because some fly is flown right next to my face and it's driving me insane. <sighs> We're fine. We're fine, though. Not a big deal. <laughs> Don't do like me and fly through your levels. You will get so bored when you hit higher levels. Just enjoy it and fish. There you go, Sadie. S Sadie speaks the truth. She speaks the truth. Listen to thy truth. Ah. At Blue Crab, does the tarpon give a lot of XP? I, I, I don't know off the top of my head. It, it probably gives some some decent XP. They're a pretty big fish. The beast with the subscribe. Thank you so much, beast. It's huge. Can we have a video of hotspots of Blue Crab Island if there isn't a vid of it already? We have lots of vids fishing at Blue Crab Island. Uh, the last live stream we were at Blue Crab Island, we caught like five or six different uniques. I would honestly, if you're looking for hotspots, go go into uh, go into the BZ Hub channel, click on lives, and find the most recent Blue Crab Island live stream, and just skip around looking for unique fish because we caught them, got a bunch. To the point where I wasn't even like looking forward to going back to Blue Crab because I was like, we caught so many last time. It's just, I don't know. It's going to be hard to beat, I guess. <laughs> Jacoby, how's it going? Do you have any video about how to do the weather thing? The weather thing. How to control the weather? I haven't. I haven't done a video on that. How to do the weather thing. What do you mean by the weather thing? When you got catfishing next time in real life, I'm going to take catnip to see if it works. There you go. Throw out some catnip for them, those kitty cat fish. You're level 59. Level up to get to level 63. Where do I go? You're past EESS, my man. The rule is once you pass EESS, you're on your own. It's not a hard game. You, you catch fish, you level up, you make money. I don't, I don't know. The fact is, after after San Joaquin and the, and and maybe the the Taman, I haven't even been able to try out the Taman because the the Taman was introduced after I was already past it, so I haven't been able to experience it myself. People claim the Taman is better than the Sturgeon. I I believe it's probably possible. Um, so go fish the Taman. After that. The the locations are cool because you unlock new fish, but they're they're kind of sucky. They there's nothing that's really that great. So I'd love to say, oh, what you need to be doing is fishing for Arapaima at nighttime. It's gonna skyrocket you all the way to the end of the game. There's just no answer. It's just just fish. Just catch fish. Level up. Enjoy! You've passed EESS. That's like graduating high school. You're on your own. Go do stuff. Go go play the game. Is RI4 on console? Nope, not yet anyway. What's good, Bo? It's funny you're catfishing because I just came from it. Got my personal best flathead. It was 22 pounds. Hey, right on, man. That's awesome. Got another gilded. Got another gilded. Well, he sure put up a good fight for just a 55-pound fish, didn't he? We live, baby, Taven says. Well, 59 fishing plan mode. Can't wait to get him around for XP and money. Oh, XP and the money. That was, like, right on the dot. If you could actually hit that marker we would have hit it and then we're gonna increase the depth on this another uh rod just went off there and go with a uh, 10 feet deep here oh no Two rods going off now. This one doesn't seem too big at the moment, though. You're now at level 20! Storm Chaser, how's it going? 
Well, awesome fishing guy. Congrats on level 20. I remember when I was level 20. What a great time to be alive. Come here, you little red tail. Little red tail never hurt nobody. Maybe, maybe, maybe one did. I don't know. How about you freaking grab the rod, he nil? Good gravy. Another small fish. Another small one. 2.54 in the morning because you're on vacation. <laughs> They're driving you insane? Oh, God. You know what I'm going through then. Freaking flies. They're all over the place. Can you catch the Terra Tarpon on a bottom rod? Yeah, probably could. I I'm not sure. I've never tried it. Another little gilded here. Another little gilded. Listen up. Listen up. I wrote down that the red tail go after freshwater crab and the gilded go after the big liver. You can't do the opposite, then you're going to mess everything up. You haven't seen me in a month? Well, what have you been doing, Fat Seagull? Goodness gracious. Shoulda known. Hunt Games, how am I? I'm doing quite well, thanks for asking. Really helped me with the walleyes because I was farming bass at Mudwater. We'll ride on. Is it J Jacoby or Yakoby? Both kind of fun to say. Yakoby. Quick question, how can you catch smallmouth buffalo? By watching my Mad Eye Buffalo video and doing what we did to catch that, you will catch smallmouth buffalo. Hunt games, hello, hello. Andrew Carlson, Maku Maku. How can I tell hook sizes smaller to larger? We explained this in a few different videos. But basically, if it's got a diagonal and a zero, imagine it as a positive number. If it's just a hashtag and a number, then as that number gets up, it gets smaller. It's like opposite sides of a zero, right? As you have as you have the the one ot, two ot, three ot, four ot, it gets bigger. That's the one slash zero. Versus on the other side of the zero, you have a number one. You have a number two, a number three, number four, number five. They're getting smaller. So those are the ones that do not have a zero, a diagonal zero involved. So hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> it's my uh, very quick lecture on that. Know anything about oversized fish? I think it's all a bunch of hubbub. People, people talk about it. I heard, I heard people talk about it. I don't know if it's actually a thing. I think they just did. They just, they just used a bait and they caught a bigger fish. But who knows? Maybe I'm just crazy. It's crazy over here. 3 a.m. for you. You're paying payday too. Have you seen the stuff for payday three? It looks pretty similar to Payday 2, but they say it's better. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, God. And I don't know. Match rods seem to be doing diddly right now. It's all about the bottom rods. But you don't remember, I switched my name, Gabe, and now it is what it is today. Well, sick. Sick, bro. Oh, day, I was fishing, and the fish so big took my fishing pole, and ten minutes later, my dad Kathy the pole, and the fish was still on it, and it was a red drum. Well, that's pretty sweet, man. That's awesome. Yes, this is South America. This is in South America, Marone River, finessed. I'm about to move spots. I wanted to try this location out. I'd seen some people catch some decent fish over here. My spot's over there, but you can see all the markers. 
I thought I'd try this out. See if see if this was just a magical spot that that had the big unique fish. Fishing planet was just messing with me, moving them to over here or something like that. Why can't you reel in red drag? Because you don't have your rod set up for max drag. You're one max drag video away from being able to do it. So look it up after the live stream. So gilded. I think I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna start keeping rods. I'm gonna start keeping rods instead of throwing them back out. They will move. Ooh. Would you ever consider playing Fishing Planet 2 if they made it? No. I would... Are you kidding me? Playing playing a, uh, a supposed better version of this game I play all the time? You... you absolutely not. That's like... That's just a non-question mentality. It's like saying, hey, if someone offered you a million dollars, no strings attached, would you take it? That's like, that's like the same thing for me. Would you play Fishing Planet 2 if they came out with one? Obviously. Bigger the number, smaller the hook, until you get the zero, zero. Then it's bigger the number, what, behind the zero. Bigger, if that makes sense. They, no matter how you describe it, it's confusing. Can you catch the Lone Star Monster on a bottom rod? Did we catch it on a bottom rod? I can't even remember. Probably so. In real life, the darn buffalo like to you know go after bottom rods. Man, I really thought that was a crab sitting on the bottom there, <laughs> sitting on the bank. But it was my bait. All right, let's go try this spot real quick. See, the uh, current doesn't really push so much here, so it's not too bad for match rods. But we will find out, won't we? So I can get a new dirt bike. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. Everyone's got to have their thing, right? Mm. Watching this live at 4 a. My God, the, the number just keeps getting higher and higher. First, it was 2 something a.m., then 3 a.m. Now someone's at 4 a.m. It's just it's crazy. So many time zones. So many. I'm back. I was in the live stream last week. I'm sorry I missed your your last one. <sighs> Don't feel bad, man. Never feel pressured to come to the live stream. It's all fun and games, but I don't want anyone to, you know, put put coming to the live stream over something cool in uh, in their lives, you know. You know, grandma and grandpa invites you over for dinner or something like that. Go spend time with family. Don't don't show up to my live stream and listen to me play a fishing game. Um, uh, back, back. I haven't been seeing the stream for some reason, but you're here, so you're back. Hey, right on, Carson. Well, the good thing is, every Monday, Wednesday. At 7.30 p.m. Central. We we are here. You don't need to get a notification. You just need to remember that two nights out of seven during the week. At the same time. We, we live stream here on YouTube. If you can do that. If you can manage that. You, d you don't need. You don't need to have a. Uh, something pop up and tell you the stream, right? You were level 50 this morning, now you're 60! Wowie zowie gamer kid. That's crazy. Do you have any tips to help hook the sturgeon at San Joaquin? No? I don't know. I don't know. Guess just wait 
wait until they run off and then set the hook. A right click or raise the rod up on console or whatever. What's going on? Is it Yako or Jocko? I don't even know how to say it. Let's do one is Jocko, two is Yako, three is Jaco. How about that? Tell me. Hey, wait, I gotta think again. Jocko, Yako, Jaco. One through three. Jocko, Yako, Jaco. <laughs> Tell me which one is right. In real life, bucket list, Golden Dorado on a flight. That yeah, it's a great one. Yeah, no, I have a ton. I have a ton of bucket lists. In fact, that's like one of my ideas is to get a uh, a list of fish as like a t as like a tattoo and then just color them in as I uh, I catch them. You know, alligator gar was one of mine. I got him. Pictures on the wall back there. That we it's pretty sweet. Fish hook size is gibberish. It's just gibberish. Psh. Finally level 30 at White Moose making money for St. Croix. 45 pound unique lake trout right on. Do you consider buying DLCs or in-game gear? No. I literally made a video about not buying DLCs. Hate the way fish hook sizes work. Yeah, it is a little weird, isn't it? It is a little strange. Watching this at 8.07 p.m. No way, me too. New Zealand here, got you turkey request. I'm trying to get the junk challenge at Tiber River. Any tips after I got the monster snags? Just get unstuck. I don't know, man. I'm trying to think, but I can't think. I can't, I can't re recall. I can't recall. I know that every time I've gone to Tiber River, I was not there for a long time. So I assume that if I did it, I did it very quickly. Probably during a live stream. You might be able to, to dig back into the live streams and find some live stream that we were doing some challenge like that or something like that. Well, I thought this was a good sized fish at first and then all of a sudden, it just started coming into us really quickly. So it is not. So this is location number two of four. I've got a third location over there, and I've got a fourth location we're going to try out just a little further down. So we're going to stay here for a few minutes more. Then try out a different location, and then we'll try out the fourth location. Luckily, we have six days of this same weather in a row. So it'll give us, other than just having some general uh, luck on one day versus another, at least we'll be able to compare similar weather for six days straight, basically. Ugh. Two and three could work. Yako and Jayco, those are so different. How could how could they work? <laughs> oh God, I like Yako though. That's fun to say, Yako. On the last live stream I was at, I was level thirty eight. Followed what you said for me to double my baits. Now I'm level forty three. Well, right on. That's awesome. South African pronounce Yako. Yako. But he said he's from New Zealand. He's a South African that's in New Zealand. Things are just getting crazy around here. You guys, stick to one place or something. You don't see me growing up in Kansas and moving to Wisconsin all of a sudden. So what are you guys doing that? Jeez. If you had a choice to pick a lake to fish at in real life from Fishing Planet, what lake would you decide? Lake and Fishing Planet. Mmm. Mmm. Probably Maku Maku. I just cannot wait to go fish 
at a freaking, uh, you know, Amazonian river-esque environment, have all those new different species. I look at fish like Pokemon, so anytime there's new species, I'm like, oh my god. I gotta catch that. I don't care if it's this big or this big or even bigger. Like I want new stuff. I wanna see new fish. I wanna hold them in my hands and, and, and get that experience, I guess. So going to the Amazon, it's, it's that's, that's gonna be sweet. Uh, what is your opinion on fly fishing and fish plant added? People have been asking this for years. If they added Fishing Planet, I would, or if they added fly fishing to Fishing Planet, no one would be mad. It used to, it used to be that ice fishing and ocean fishing. People would always ask, oh, if they added ocean fishing in the game, what would you think about that? As if I would be angry or something like that. Same goes with ice fishing or fly fishing. There, there are other ways to fish. It sounds great. I don't know how how you could be upset. <laughs> immigrants. Immigrants. Ugh. Glad to catch the second stream. Sad I'm late, though. I've been having a lot of fun grinding St. Croix out of a kayak. Oh, very nice. All right, this place is being slow. I'm thinking, thinking we might change to the next day. Oh, unless we get a bite right here. Switch to the next day and try off location number three. What's a little baby? Gonna be a little ripsaw. We've been catching quite a few little sorbum catfish as well. But this is our first ripsaw. How did I know? Trophy rips off that. My god. Second trophy of the stream, and it's a freaking rips off. What can you do? What can you do? Is Afrikaans? Oh, okay. I gotcha. See? Shows what I know. Shows what I know. Speed ahead. Woo! Woo! <laughs> All I wanted to do was ramp off that rock, but instead. <laughs> now we're way over here. Wow, there's a big fish over here. Okie dokie. Artichokey. Fishing plant trailer about ocean fishing. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's ocean fishing being added. No freaking way, bro. Okay, here we go. Let's see here. Gotta switch days now. Don't you hate when you're fishing for a little bit of time? You never catch the fish that you actually wanted, and then at the same time, you get $32,000 from it? It's the freaking worst, bro. It's really cool. Like, y'all are from all over the place, I know. Fishing unites us all, I'm telling you. It's a great thing. It's a great, great thing. This all gone bad. It's all gone bad. Mix together some more catfish destroyer real quick. See if anyone is actually above the threshold. Blue Hyper actually is. Unfortunately for everyone else, need to be above level 50. Was it just 50? Or is it 50? Uh, it's 50, okay. I got 51. 
couldn't even remember my own cutoff <laughs> level. All right, so, sorry. Just remembering what I was doing. Catfish Destroyer, Catfish Destroyer. And we're ready to actually destroy some catfish. Zing! Beep, 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 beep. Uh, I wish I could join your game, but I'm not high enough level yet. I understand. I understand. <laughs> fishing up a drawing for work, and then I'll be fishing my little heart out for at least four to five hours. There you go. Right on, Donovan Tattoos. I dig it. So it's to be a new boat and map soon and fishing planet. That's what I've heard. Last Speezy Hub video I watched talking about the ocean map talked about their coming out with a new ocean fishing location with with new ocean fishing species like the fish and whatnot and new new gear and a new boat. I, I saw it. I saw it on the Beezy Hub. Uh, I don't know if you guys watch that guy, but you should go watch the video if you haven't. Because he puts out a lot of content. I actually hear that anytime he gets new information worth sharing, he puts out a video about it as well. So you, you never have to ask if the, he's got new information. Because he always knows. And also, I also hear that um, basically, basically he knows everyone. Even if you've never showed up to his live stream, he remembers you. Uh, if you've showed up to the live stream, then he definitely remembers you. It's just a, it's a, it's evidently some sort of superpower that he has. I don't know. That's just what I've heard. Kind of a Paul Bunyan character, I guess. You hear things about him like, like some sort of folk hero. If if being a hero also included playing fishing games. Lots of beeping going on. Well, our first fish on a match rod today. Ankin! Running lots of subscribers in the grass today, Bjorn. Bjorn's passed out on the on the floor. Can we catch this fish before we have to, to lose that other one? I think we will. Come here, you. Little red tail, looks like. Grab the rod before we lose it, Heenail. Do you know how much money I should save before I go to Everglades? <laughs> I, I don't off the top of my head. I know that we went there in the free-to-play series, and I kind of made it a thing to uh, let you know how much money you needed before you went to places, so I'd, I'd check out the video and see how much I had. Just, uh, just to see. Choice, which would you choose? An abandoned pond in the middle of nowhere or a farm pond? Um, see, so if you went to a farm pond, you'd be able to ask the farmer if the, uh, if the pond has ever dried up. Which is a common thing in Kansas. A lot of ponds in people's lands that dry up, like, every summer. So if you, if you went fishing there, the only thing you'd ever see is frogs and snakes, basically. <laughs> Whoa, that guy pulled out some line there. Little hefty, little hefty son of a gun. I like that. I like that. I like a like a cat with some fight. But you play on mobile, I get it. What's your opinion on Shimano DC casting reels? Ugh, I don't think I have a I don't think I have an opinion on those. I don't think I've ever tried one. I have a Shimano Kirado pay casting reel, but um, that's about it. I don't have any other casting reels by Shimano. Well, they're both putting up pretty de decent fights here. We're not really getting much line in on them, are we? Gained a few feet there, and then lost it. Ah. It's 
good sign though. Good sign. Good sign of a good fish. I feel like we're gonna end up losing one of these fish though. Always seems to happen. We're fighting two big fish that don't seem to be giving up. Eventually we'll end up losing one of them. Trying to juggle both of them together like we would have just lost that one. R4 is better. Exiting fish, every spot changes, feel a good one. Farm for gear, better graphics, much more different lures, baits, rods, mixes, that's why. Where did that come from, Dragon? It's like the first thing I saw you chat in the entire chat was just saying some advertisement for RF4. <laughs> I tell you what, if there's one thing I do love about RF4, it's the largemouth bass fishing. Pretty much every American map in that in that game, a work of art. Just absolutely love it. They have so much variety of American fishing, South American, African. You you can fish all over the world in that game. Oh wait, no you can't. It's just Russia. And a few other European places. My mistakes are. Don't mean to ruffle too many feathers here. I didn't want to juggle three rods. That was going to be too much. Goodness gracious, dude. Two Congo rods having difficulty reeling in these fish here on the frickin' Maroon River. Oh, God, man. That one in the seven, these for just a second. Come here, you. Boy, it'd really help me out if I could get you in right now. That is a nice little red tail there. Oh, baby! Finally, dude! Cannot tell you how long it's been since I've caught a unique red tail. And I had to put it back. <laughs> I, had to, I didn't put it back, but I kept it. I couldn't save her in the moment because we had another fish on. Good gravy, man. It has been so long. So long. You were here last stream. Good deal. How long is tonight's stream going to run? Same as every other stream. Till 9.30. Till 9.30. PM Central, I should say. Ah, this isn't one. Nice trophy, but hey, we got a nice, uh, nice, unique, finally, on the A dot, freaking large liver. What the heck, dude? I have to look at the time. 50, 50 minutes. Essentially. Oh, I have to level up. <laughs> not not going to be too much longer. We are going to level up. Goodness gracious. What's up, Kian? How's it going? Is it Kian or Kian? I'm so I'm doubting myself. I don't know what it is. It's southeastern Oklahoma, northeastern Texas. We got Lake Texoma, second largest man-made lake in America. Amazing bass fishing of all types. I gave it that accent. It just uh, just felt right. Well, right on. Glad to hear it. Since I got to catch a stream, started again on Fishing Planet and grinded the pike right now. Love this bow. Much love. Chaotic Slot. Love to hear it, man. Love to hear about, about the adventure. It's all about the adventure. Adventure 
of life and fishing planet. So much, Colin, right on. You are not alone as you can tell. Golly. I stopped fishing, I love bass fishing. I can't do that there. <laughs> No doubt, Uni. Fishing planet gets me bored fast. Hey. Hey, man. I don't know if you know this, but we also play Russian Fishing 4. I, I am by no means dogging on Russian Fishing 4 for being a bad fishing game, because I love that game. The problem is, they're stuck in frickin' Russia, in the Norwegian Sea, and maybe another place that I don't know about, or something like that. It... It doesn't... It doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't... It's a fun game, I enjoy playing it. But... Until I'm able to catch a frickin' largemouth bass, or an alligator gar, or something like that. Or, or a red-tailed catfish in the Amazon. But you know why we won't? Know why we won't? Because it's called Russian Fishing 4. It's not called World Fishing, or something like that. Fishing isn't about fishing in one location. That's not what fishing's all about. It is... It is... Fishing goes beyond language. It's like... It's like in Mean Girls, when she was like... You know... Uh, what I can't remember the freaking line right now. Someone knows Mean Girls, you can say it. That, uh, there, there's, there's no language barriers when it comes to math. Anyone can do math, and it all... It all makes sense. You know, you can... Someone who, who does not know English can do math, and someone who does know English can do math. And they can do it together, because it doesn't... Re like, they can do it together, it doesn't require communication. Fishing is that way, too. You put some bait on a hook, you have a lure, you don't even need to talk. You can just point at stuff and cast out towards stuff. Doesn't require any communication. If you know how to fish, you can work with someone else who knows how to fish. And you don't even need to speak the same language. It, and if, and if you, you're creating a game that is only one location, you're completely missing the point of fishing. And, and I will always dog on, on Russian Fishing 4 for that. Other than that, love that game. <laughs> and, it, and, it, and yes, it's much better than Fishing Planet for a lot of reasons. But for that one reason, it will never beat Fishing Planet. That... So sorry, not sorry, I guess. You're going on an eight-hour fishing trip for fluke and striped bass tomorrow? Well, good luck. Post the pictures in the Discord. If you catch some, would love to see them. Xbox was completely packed up, so starting again on PC. Let the grind begin, Jake says. Right on, Jake. Glad to hear it. supposed to end at 929 and I catch a fish and pull it out at 927 and apparently my license was expired. So they take all your money. That's how it is, man. Them, them fishing planet. They're just in it for the money. They just want the money of your fish. They don't even care. They don't even care. They're like, they're like the fishing planet government. They just, they just want to make sure that they can get, get that fish money from you steal that XP so that they can just keep it themselves I don't know that sucks <laughs> I guess <laughs> don't cut it so close you learned a nice lesson don't cut it so close next time when it gets five ten minutes close to it up up your license you know using the two odd and it's decent we'll ride on I'm not sure what the best one is. Depends on where you're fishing, I suppose. Whatever I used in my last video for it, that's that's what I would use. 
I'm not that type of guy. More of a bream roach, white bream carp cats guy. I get it. And if I was there in Russia or something like that, <clears throat> that's that's probably what I would fish for too. <clears throat> Excuse me, goodness Christ. Just coughing right into the microphone. You're level negative five in Fishing Planet? My goodness. Can we catch this fish before we have to... You're nine feet, bucko. Gilded! Ah, oh, trophy gilded. 106 pounds. Oh, another 8,000 XP, though. You know, I've caught so many unique uh, catfish here on match rods. I'm surprised that, uh, surprised we haven't caught one on a match rod yet. Ooh, this is a big sorbum. Oh, baby, bring it on, homie. Dance, unicorns. Dance, unicorns. Oh, big ol' sorbum. 27.97 pounds, man. 41 and a half inches. What a weird looking fish. Freaking cool though, dude. I I cannot wait to get to the get down to Guyana or something like that and do some fishing. That is gonna be freaking sweet, dude. Bjorn is finding subscribers out the Yahoo in that grass. That is some that grass is is thick with subscribers. <laughs> right on. Hey, we are so close to leveling up. Oh god. All right. Throw back out there. I'm sure there them's other fish are out there. Used to watch Fishing Planet streams while playing Fishing Planet. Oh, what do you what do you do now? What do you do now? Do you think carps are trash fish? I, I think that uh silver and uh and and big head carp are kind of annoying. I think if you could fish for them and, and eat them, I think it wouldn't be that big of a deal. But because they're such a freaking pain to deal with, they don't really go after lures all that much, being a filter feeder. Kind of kind of trashy. Common carp, though. Love common carp. Fishing for common carp is one of my great pleasures in life. If you've never tried it, you need to try it. It's, it's so much fun. So relaxing. And the thing is, I don't know. When I would go out catfishing with my dad, like we would have one rod, each of us, sit there with our one rod out in the water waiting for a catfish to come by. It's honestly, it's not freaking crazy. <laughs> but when you're carp fishing, you fish with like three rods each, you know? So everyone's got three rods and it's just constant bites. Just every 10 minutes, every 15 minutes, someone's got a bite and you're running between friends. Oh my God, it's so much fun. Such a fun community. Go on Facebook and search and see if there's a carp fishing group in your area, because they're, they're awesome. RJ Gaming, becoming a hub man, hub woman. Fantastic, thank you so much, RJ. That's awesome, dude. Your best friend fishing off a boat dock saw me, asked if I wanted to jump on and hit a good bass spot, pulled out a six pounder immediately. Dude, very nice. Sounds like a good friend. That's sick. Fish a few times a month. That's what our lake is famous for. The, the stripper fish. <laughs> New to a live trying to look at your streams after I get done with school. Love your vids, Bill Nye. Bill Nye, the fishing guy. Right on, man. We'll appreciate it. Level 11, I got the game yesterday. Sick. Well, it's a fun, it's a fun game. Uh, prepare prepare for for fun and and and, and tears and, and laughter it's a fishing planet is like a is like a good movie you know you sit down you laugh you cry you get angry maybe you scared you feel all the emotions it's ama it's amazing kind of agree they don't change a lot we do Need more maps. Need more maps. How do you get in tournaments on Fishing Planet? Because I never get in. I, I don't know. There's like a time period that you need to fish. And it all calculates over time. I, I, I've never spent a lot of time fishing tournaments. So I'd really, I'm really not the guy to ask. 
Number one. Number four. Ah. Where are you fishing? Marone River. Marone River at the moment. Chasing down a gilded catfish. Is the goal, anyway. Which, I think another bait that I used to catch gildeds on all the time was freshwater prawns. That's on chicken livers. That's interesting. Whoa! That's some pressure right there. Pretty decent little kitty cat. All right, I see you. See you, kitty cat. I fish animal for this whole week. I'm scared to go to the Everglades because I'll probably end up losing all the money. <laughs> I stay with that. Say, stay in Emerald then. Not that hard. If you if you feel like you're gonna lose all your money, then just stay there. Have to go. America is weird in a good way. Maybe. <laughs> Samuel Johnson, how's it going? Went fishing for crappie at your local pond. Just put some braid on my bass rod and small uh, hook laying bread on top of the water for grass carp and caught like a 40 pound carp. Tell you what, when you catch 40 pound bass, let me know then I'll go back to bass fishing <laughs> you're playing fishing planet we'll ride on Samuel Johnson striper bass Stri or stripper bass <laughs> Tyranno King how's it going this guy is putting up a fight but he's coming straight towards us right now we're just reeling in the line you always feel a little bit good when you're reeling in a bunch of line on a big fish like this like, oh yeah, I'm finally making some headway, and then you find out he's just swimming towards you, basically. Don't want to reel this. This is a really small fish, but I'm also just gonna reel him in a little bit. Pull this rod back again. This is actually a decent fish. It just came up to the surface there. Oh no. Hopefully pull this fish in real quick. Another sorbum. Grab the rod, he nail. But I'm at 86 now. Watching your beginning series, I'm now at St. Croix. Almost ready for sturgeon your videos. Really helped me out. Right on, Dorian. Glad to hear it. We're off catfishing, so as special place in my heart, but I have really Rock car fishing reels. Uh, Bobby, new baitcaster too, so that's been fun to learn. Oh, I bet. That's so. Unique peacock bass and largemouth. Nice trip. Live in Arkansas. Grew up on the on the Mississippi. Mississippi. Yep. I spent many many a day fishing for catfish on the rivers in Kansas. Fun time. Still, still, I like going back uh, in the summer and stuff like that. But one of my favorite things is going down creeks and, and just using a little float with some chicken liver or something like that or some cut bait. Though with cut bait, you have to worry about gar and stuff like that coming up and taking your bait. But, but uh, still fun. Let it go with the stream and just let it carry down. Then all of a sudden the bobber just goes under because the cap, it's not a very big stream. So if it some stinky and smelly good, like a chicken liver goes through it. I mean, those catfish are going to find it within minutes, you know, if not seconds, depending upon how fast the stream's moving. So. My phone's about to die. Cameraman says, well, no problem there. Cameraman best hook size for sturgeon. What were we using the other day? We were using five aughts. I think at one point we switched to four aughts. I'm not sure what the best is. I've never compared them. But that's what we were using. It was working. Yeah, it was working. I think when we switched to four aughts, we were catching more 50 pounders, though. Maybe it was a coincidence. Who knows? Fishing guy. I like that. Thanks. Never, never seen a better streamer. Never seen a better streamer. I like that. 
started playing this game on the 26th. You got 20 hours already. There you go. <laughs> Two, 48 hour period and you've got 20 hours in. That's what I'm talking about. And you work full time. <laughs> Long time no see, Patty Allen. Where were you? We were worried sick. Here's our gilded. Please be. Please be a unique. Please. Please be a unique. Hey, shut up, parrot. Ruin. Oh, bro. Oh, bro. Let's go! Freaking PB2. Oh, my God. Goodness gracious, you have no idea how long I have been waiting for a unique gilded. And we got them both in one stream, man. Oh my god. Okay, top notch, top notch. Top notch, everybody. Oh my goodness gracious. 162 pounder. Yeah, boy. Okay, top notch. We got him. That's what we were looking for. Finally got him. Good night, Heenil. Good sized fish there, bud. 162 pounds. Okay, after that, we level up, level 77. Top notch. Got some got some new uh new soft got buffalo kidneys that's nice the giant spin 8,000 a sturdy tackle box that basically just looks like a, a freaking <laughs> like a like a toolbox that someone takes to to work as a construction worker or a, I don't know what are they what are they called oh not a laborer uh sorry it's the C I know it doesn't it they freaking call that's gonna drive me insane. I'll get it though. Don't tell me. Anywho, fantastic. Took the okay. We are oh, absolutely fishing planet. After doing all of that, I'm gonna buy your money bundle. Freaking idiots. All right, we're leaving. We're going to Amazonian Maze now. Get ourselves a Piraiba. Uh, what does Call of the Wild, the angler, need to do in order to compete with the other free-to-play models? It needs to actually make a fishing game that feels like a uh, closer to a fishing experience. It is it is heavily, heavily weighing on the game aspect of fishing game. It's like it's like 75 game, 25% fishing right now. It if that makes any sense. But they, it's it's going to get better. It's just a long ways. Just a long ways from from being there, I guess. It doesn't even have bottom fishing in the game. You can't even throw out a freaking uh, sinker with with bait. Like it doesn't exist in the game. What what fishing game go comes out that doesn't have that? What? Doesn't make any sense. Anywho, here we go. I have got ten odd hook, ten odd hook, fourteen odd hook. 14 knot hook with huge cut bait for Piraiba. We're gonna give it a go. I know that there's some people that fish um, with some pretty big. In fact, I mean we can we throw it in here. I don't care. Who am I? Who am I to say? Blah 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 blah. We'll throw it in here. We're gonna be waiting for bites anyway. Might as well do something while we're waiting. Where the heck is it? Do we get rid of it? Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. Well, let's go through all of our freaking spinning rods. Dora McCormzy. We have to throw on titanium leaders in case we accidentally catch. Now, Chase, here we go. That thing. And we're looking for something around 96 pounds. 
96 pounds. There's a 52.9 pound. There we go. That's what we were looking for. All right. And now line. 97 pound braid I saw. Have anything like that in fluorocarbon? It's the best fluorocarbon line we can get right now. 400 hours won the game. What is called? Does the company called George Pacific own the body of water? We call it best mud cat fishing in my life. Best mud cat fishing in my life. They they don't even have fluorocarbon that goes past 97 pounds. That's funny. All right, looks like we're gonna be using some braid then. 97 pound braid there. Titanium leader. Where are you? We're also gonna use a jig head. Can we find an A dot jig head. have an ADOT jig head that's between this area so I'm gonna have to get a new jig head too. Why am I spending so much time doing something I wasn't even gonna originally do? Freaking stupid. Three ounce ADOT. ADOT one and a half ounce. Oh we do have one and a half ounce. Oh where the heck was it? Three quarter ounce. Whoop! There it is. Got it. We're good. We're good, everyone. Got it there. Six inch here. And titanium leader. Is there even a strong enough titanium leader? What's the strongest titanium leader you can get? 91 pounds? 95.9? Okay. Well, we already got one of those. I guess we'll just throw that on. Top notch. So, we also need to throw on 81.6, 83.8. Need to throw on 87 pound titanium leader, I guess. That. 87 pound on that. I think we will try the darn. Um, I've never tried these things uh, for Pure Aiva, so that should be kind of interesting. We'll keep keep doing the catfish destroyer to see if we catch catch a big in doing that. I think we will throw on a 14 knot hook just to uh, test the darn water. See if we can get a big in. And of course we're going to throw on huge cut bait on one and on the other one. I'm throwing on a freaking buffalo kidney or something. Maybe a large liver. I don't want to throw on a buffalo kidney though. Oh well, we'll try it out. All right, so we got three different things we're gonna be using. We're gonna be fishing at nighttime. So let's go, boys, boys and girls, and everyone else. Okay, yeehaw, yeehaw, fish friend says, you're about to get to level 12, right on. 110 viewers, but only 64 of them like me. That's what I'm talking about. Life's not about making friends. It's about making people who hate you watch your live stream. I love it. Actually gives me, gives me pride knowing that there's so many people that don't like me that watch my live streams. It's the greatest feeling in the world. The Draco boat. Let's go find us a pure Aiba. a good pull for fish from 5 to 20 pounds in real life. Well, what kind of fish are you, I mean, what kind of fishing are you going to be doing? Turn. Carpenter, thank you, Fishing with Genius. Goodness gracious. That was going to drive me insane.
are actually going to throw down an anchor. Call me crazy. Actually, I'm going to take that anchor up and move a little bit more. After I turn on the engine again. There we go. I like this spot. Top notch. Okay. Now, what we're going to do check our friends thing real quick we're at 200 friends we have one more friend and then anyone below level 60 is getting booted <laughs> it's a it's a dark time it's a dark time to be alive okay now let's see here we're gonna just change the time night time we're gonna mix together some catfish bait because i'm curious how that's gonna work Mix it together. Your level, you're at the surgeon grime and made a level 34 step up, and it works great. Sick, bro. Sick. All right. Let's do this. Where are you? Cap destroyer. Cap destroyer. Throw these out, boyos. don't like you i just like your content your face your humor voice and cool mounts on the wall i get it i get it it is what it is you like you like my lifestyle you want to be me you just don't like me i get it i get it <laughs> just joking you just just went in the absolute worst spot, didn't ya? Didn't ya? Is that gonna make it go away or not? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe just, like, don't set up your boat right in front of people. Good golly. Okay fish somewhere else. Buying anchor that had hundreds of hour on Call of the Wild, a piece PS5, a PC. Well, and it's nowhere near as good as the competition. Send some money. Fishing for spotted bass. You're fishing for spotted bass, huh? Giving me a very good twitch, is it? Guess we'll do some stop and go then. Is premium worth the money? It's the only thing worth money in this entire game. Keaton Smith, what's up? What's going on? How many hours you got? I don't know. A lot. I haven't watched you in like months. Kind of fell out of love with gaming, but I'm back uh, happier, happier than ever. Well, right on, dude. This is fish. Got hooked up pretty quick. We are anchored down and it's still pulling the boat. That's fun. Just came up to the top there. We might have a shark on, to be honest. Hey, how are you, Elijah? I'm doing quite well. How about you? Now, now that we do have 130 people, I just want to let you guys know. Just want to let you know that come uh, 
probably this weekend when I have time to work on it. There is going to be a new feature. Because I swear to God, I'm sick of bringing it up. <laughs> that there's going to be a 15 minute timer that starts and it's going to be called the 100 viewer timer. And when we hit 100 viewers during a live stream, there's going to be 15 minutes. And if the likes don't reach 100 likes in that 15 minutes, I'm ending the live stream early. And it's it's just going to make it fun, I think. Because I'm sick of bringing up 100 likes. I've brought it up so many streams. And yet, every single live stream, I still have to bring it up. I don't know what else to do than just threaten ending the stream early. So we're going to start a timer. The 100 viewer timer. And, and it's not going to hurt me any. Because it just means that I have more time to spend to spend with my with my dogs and my wife at night <laughs> they know a lot about the game but it is full envy full envy <laughs> I love your videos keep up the great work fishing with Mike right on well thank you I appreciate it Mike Boy, this old guy's putting up a fight. I thought we were going to get him in pretty easily, but no, he's, he's still... You can see his fin sticking up out of the water over there. I saw him. He came up to the surface for just a second, and I missed seeing if he, if he was a shark. And it's so hard watching Piraibas and sharks because they both look very similar. Yeah, until you actually see their face, you don't know whether it's a shark or a freaking Piraiba. <laughs> But I don't remember a lot of Piraibas coming up to the top. Oh! Came up again. And it still didn't help me. All we saw was a white underbelly. Who knows? Who knows? Blacktail shining with Lone Star. Why can't you use it as bait? I know, right? I've been saying. What rod do you recommend? Love 20. I don't know. Whatever one I put in the video. It is a Piraiba! You crazy thing. What are you doing coming up to the top and splashing around so much? Little 127 pound Piraiba. Little guy. He's just he's just a little guy. So so what's up with you with you guys? Just sitting here with no action. Is it because we got 14 knot hooks on there? Big ol' hooks. Too too much too much for the old uh, the old big old Piraiba. I'm not I'm not ditching it yet. We got time. We got half an hour. Got half an hour to see. Till then we're just gonna keep casting around with this little shad. Quickly explain how to get max drag for dummies. I know you have a video, but I still don't understand. It's really not that hard. It's uh, it's all about the drag on the reel, on the rod, and on the line. The poundage, the weight, and so you make sure that the poundage allowed on your reel is less than your rod, and the rod is less than the line. Other than that, there's not much else to it. fishing kid there is not it is the only one do you have any videos that have tips for Russian fishing we have a Russian fishing beginner series so if you haven't seen the beginner series that'll that'll get you started at least give you give you an idea of things that you could be doing because it, it's what it, it is such like a sandbox game you can honestly just get lost just not understanding what you should be doing early on. And so that was kind of my main goal with uh, the beginner series in Russian Fishing 4 was just kind of showing you what what you could be doing, not what you should be doing, because I don't know. It was my first time playing the game. But uh, just stuff you could be doing to be uh, making your way through Russian Fishing 4. That, that was kind of my goal when I made those videos. My god, we actually we actually lost a like. My goodness gracious. Alright. 
Well, let's try it out then, huh? If we don't hit 100 likes by... It's 9.04 right now. If we don't get it by 9.10, I'll end the stream 20 minutes early. How about... How about that? That that would be fun. That would be fun for me. See? I, I, it's amazing. It, all of a sudden, it, it just happens. It's crazy! <laughs> I I honestly, if you if you want to test it, it's fine by me. I swear to God, <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll end the stream early, and then there won't ever be any questioning about whether I'll do it ever again. <laughs> Another beer. This guy's not fighting as much. Got your PB bass of seven point two pounds. Well, dang, bro. Trophy beer, Aiba. Okay, we're going up. We're slowly going up. These uh, these rods are catching nothing right now. What is going on, dude? Fishing kids out. He's out. I'm back. I hope you're having a good day, mutton outdoors. Right on, man. I'm having a great day. How about you? You having a good day? Do you like streaming? It's a bit much. It's nice because uh, if just just to give you some perspective on the whole thing, uh, if you are if you do have a busy life, right? You know, or your life is getting more busy. Say you get a promotion at work, and and uh, and some friends ask you to do some stuff, and you're running around with your head cut off, and you're not able to put videos out as much as you used to be, maybe. Um, then the live streams are nice because they, uh, they're like scheduled times for you to remember in your noggin to, to slow down on life, ease up on the gas pedal and, and go do a live stream and you'll at least have two videos out a week, um, you know, doing that. Got one fish on that one and we have one fish on this one now. Goodness, thank you. We got a shark on this rod. What a freaking loser. Um but at the same time, you can you can you can obviously imagine how that could get really annoying as well. That you have to pretty much uh on on every Monday and Wednesday for me. It's like, uh, I gotta stop everything I'm doing and do a live stream and go do, go, go do that. So it's, it's nice. It's, it's a, what is it? Uh, I can't think of the actual, like, uh, term for it, but pleasure, pleasure and a curse, something like that. It's nice and it's not nice at the same time. I, I honestly, I can't imagine the people who stream multiple day, like, every day of the week, or they stream uh, a bunch of days out of the week, like, they must just not have anything else going on in their life or something. I don't know how you could have so much time to do that. That's ridiculous. You would have to treat it as a job, I guess. Like, oh, time to go to work. Time to go to work. It's, it's 12 o'clock. Time to go stream for two hours. Some four hours. Who knows? I'm eager to see how big this shark is. It's. I think it's honestly the first shark I've caught on a 14 knot hook. But at the same time, he doesn't look super big. Did you start focusing on fish monster missions at level 45? I don't know. Just maybe. I mean, that's probably where I'll be before I start doing the, the monster fish missions um, on the free-to-play account for, for this Halloween season. So, it might be a good place to be. I mean, the entire point of the free-to-play series was basically to work your way up from Lone Star Lake all the way to the Sturgeon Grind, making a bunch of money, making a bunch of XP. And even if you're just feeling like you're fishing for forever and you're not going anywhere 
you're at least going to have more money so that when you do get bored of fishing for sturgeon, you can leave and go to Kanik Creek or leave and go to White Moose Lake and catch those big, unique lake trout. Um, it's just so much slower to, to fish those locations along the way um, than just working those those singular locations that I spoke about. And, and people bring up all the time, you know, why do you bring up going to going to the Everglades or Falcon Lake when you can just make more money fishing for walleye at night? And it's like, dude, if you really want to fish for walleye from level 10 to level 30 or whatever it is, you know, when you unlock Emerald for the first time till when you unlock St. Croix, like, like, be my guest. But that sounds boring as hell. How can you catch more fish on the level one map? I don't know, man. Gold casting spoon, silver casting spoon, and we'll, we'll twitch. Twitch and stop and go. I don't... Are you joking me? You've got to be... Jo oh my god, seriously. We literally were reeling in the slack as it was right here about to come in the boat. Wow. 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 That was... That was an experience. How about that? That entire fight, all to lose it right here as the freaking tension dropped off for a millisecond. And we got another one immediately. So that same shark that just came back for another bite. Oh, this one's actually a pure Aiba. <laughs> Good golly, dude. <sighs> Fight a shark for 10 minutes, throw it back out there, and reel in a Piraiba within seconds. What are the fish you're catching? Bull shark and Piraiba. I mean, we're, we're, we're fishing for Piraiba, but we're accidentally catching... Bull sharks. I think we need to throw this one out further and let out some line. I feel like the arc it's creating is missing the fishing location that we want to be fishing in. I'm probably going to throw it like right here. And as it comes down, I'm going to let out some line. Hopefully that's closer to where we want to be. Now a little deep section there. You lost a gargantuan Chinook. Dude, the Chinook at Kani Creek are uh, like are known for that though. They are I mean it, it's uh it that was definitely like my first experience. My first experience at Kanik Creek was basically just the salmon going out a long ways and then coming right back to me really fast so that my uh, my my reels couldn't keep up with them. Which is why everyone, anyone who tells me, you know, oh, what do you recommend for Kanik Creek? I always say, make sure that your reel is like above 36 inches on the freaking uh recovery there you can see this one has a recovery of 45 like i would make sure that it has above 36 for the the chinooks on, on kanee creek how does leader work in the game do i need to use it i lose pike all the time because of it because they're cutting through the leader is that is that why i assume I mean, yeah, if they're cutting through the, the leader, then you should probably get a titanium leader. That way they can't bite through it. Zach Walker, just watching the fishing plan, guys. Whoa, right on. Hopefully they're, they're, they're working out for you. 
that we hit our our max fish for the night for the for the time being I have to skip on to the next night Now he can't end the stream because you gotta go catch the shark. Hey, we we didn't even come here to catch sharks. I'm fine. I'm fine not catching a shark. Was you fishing for catfish earlier when I joined? Probably so. We were fishing for for, for gilded and uh, red tails in the beginning. Wanted to catch a unique of both of them, and we got them. Moved on. We moved on. The Piraiba is what we're chasing after now. I reel these in. We're gonna just move through Catfish Destroyer. Uni Pike at St. Croix. We catch Uni Pike on, uh, at St. Croix doing what we do normally all the time. Seven out hooks with shiners. Uh, there's certainly some days that are easier to catch unique pike than others. Um, and, and your chances of catching them might go up if you use large minnows over uh, shiners. But yeah, we catch unique. Pretty much every live stream that we have at St. Croix fishing for pike, we, we end up catching uh, a unique one. It's because it, it, you spend two hours there, you're bound to catch a unique one. Unless the weather doesn't change and you're fishing one of those days where it's a little bit harder to catch a unique and you're you're fishing those particular days multiple times in a row maybe maybe you won't catch it. who knows who knows Oh, sin plays, sin plays. What up? I swear that bell was going off. Before we even put it in the rod holder. Dang it. Trying to get caught up. Unique player with a crayfish, four inch on a three way rig, four rod offset hook. Neat. I mean, I'm really trying to catch them on bait. I really don't want to catch them on a lure, but well, we are throwing around a lure just in case while we're waiting. Might as well. Might as well. But I don't have a crayfish with me, so I, we're not going to try it, I guess. Thanks for va vaving me here. Well, no trouble. Three minutes on the stream left. We got, we got 13 minutes. go for a twitch we're really having some trouble uh freaking getting them to hook up fish nibble on my spoons but never bite on it. I like 80% of the time I reel in, it doesn't stay on. 80% of the time you reel in, it doesn't stay on. 
doesn't stay on when you're reeling it in? That that's strange. But otherwise, if they're just if it feels like they're just nibbling on the spoons, uh, do yourself a favor and switch to a twitch technique, and uh, just reel in constantly and right click. Or, uh, or I guess it's right-click constantly and then reel in periodically. Bro, seriously? I think that is a monstrous Piraiba. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. I'm 90% I'm sure this is a monstrous Piraiba. Might just be a monstrous trophy. But I'm I am obviously hopeful it is not. <laughs> How much have you missed? Sinplay says. Oh, started the stream at 7:30. It's 9:20 now, so almost two hours, I suppose. Yeah, he's definitely unique. This, uh, I don't think I've ever fought a Piraiba that's, uh, freaking Stu Martin with the sub. Thank you. That's, uh, that's meter has been this animated. I mean, it's, the head shakes are so big that it's literally dropping from red down to blue. <laughs> Which I, I never related to head shakes until someone brought it up. But as you can imagine, when, it, when it's a really big fish and it's waving its head from side to side, at one point, uh, there may be uh, uh, a lot of tension because it's, it's pulled away from you. And then it moves its head back towards you and all that tension goes away. So when you see it move from red down to blue, back up to red, it's basically showing how big the fish is. Its head is moving a lot to basically doing these humongous head shakes. And that's why when you see uh, the meter moving up and down so many times, there's a really good chance that it is a unique fish simply because of that being the, the head shake animation, basically. Abyss was given it. Wow, he's out. You're using twitching, but it's still not working. I don't know, then, man. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's too big of a casting spin. Who knows? Oh, he's out. Thank you, YouTube Wolf Play. He's goodness gracious. Got him. Oh, he was just in the 70s for a second. You're using stop and go. I'm I was using stop and go too. Crazy. Will there be more RF4 content? Been absolutely loving the game lately. And also question what is up with the Norwegian stuff on your channel? How, do you have Norwegian family or heritage? My family is actually German. German, German and Irish. But uh, uh my this is way too much information. You don't want to know all this. What you do, what you should know is that we did have uh, family friends, really good family friends that have been around for for a good many years who were Norwegian, very close to the family. 
every spring we'd go on ski trips with them, all that sort of stuff from the time I was a little kid up to an adult. So it's always been a point of pride that we've always shared in this kind of German and Norwegian heritage, even though we're not technically Norwegian. Justin, goodness gracious, now, now a member as well. Here we go. Here we go. He's in the teens. He's in the teens. Oh! Killing me! Oh my goodness gracious. New PB, but still just a trophy. Good night, everybody. Holy crap, dude. What a fight. What a fight for just a trophy. Hmm. The unique Piraiba remains, remains one of those fish that just keep evading me. But right on, 213 pounds, 100, or 150. 15,469 bucks, 9,400 XP. I'll take it. I'll take it. We have five more minutes. If we if we get into, based on that fight, if we get into a unique Piraiba, it's just, it's gonna go beyond the stream time anyway, just to bring it in. 30 pound blue cat today at St. Croix. Ooh, very cool. Those carries. I got you. Whoa, there we go. He's a little guy. You didn't reply on the RF4 question. Yes, we um do plan on playing that more. In fact, I was going to play it today for the live stream, but I haven't. Uh, I don't know. I just didn't have my didn't have my stuff together. Been focused on fishing planet for past week or so so between doing the free-to-play stuff and other other jazz well I thought he was a small fish now he's a hundred feet out freaking dude the only pure Aiba will fight a lot more crazier with head shakes than the trophy there I don't see how it's possible he literally went from red down to blue not not turquoise, blue, like the freaking number two and three from the bottom. The only way it could be crazier than that is if it went from the top down to nothing. And you just lose it due to low line tension. <laughs> it's the only way I could see it being crazy. What can you do with the membership? Obviously, post sick emojis that you can't do without it. Uh, obviously. For sure, yeah, you're right on. This guy's got a little bit of fight, it's true. really gonna make me lose the fish just because I have to freaking moderate my my own chat goodness gracious all right everyone big fan you were in my state when you went to Utah I fished the Pro Provo River just about every day I also love St. Croix fishing plant hey well right on bro fishing well everyone I'm not sure we're going to be able to catch fish in the next two minutes, so I think we might just end it early. 
So I hope everyone has some fun. This definitely helped me out, I guess, a little bit for the darn uh, next River Monsters video, Fishing Planet. Need to catch that darn PRAU. Just have to keep experimenting, I suppose. I know that a lot of people catch it on lures. I just don't want to. Don't want to. I want to use bait. That's how he did it in River Monsters. And I want to do it like he did it. Here's a little bull shark. Come here, bull shark. Have an amazing day. See you next stream, hopefully. Absolutely. You as well. Come here, bull shark, you crazy thing. You're gonna end up fighting this guy for 10 minutes. my day I've had a pretty good day how about you how was your day do I need some wrenches yeah I need some wrenches so I can throw them at this bull shark maybe knock it out and just reel it in if you can dodge a wrench you can dodge my mm, angling techniques Pretty crazy. Guess so. Who's the Zombie XD. Thank you, Zombie XD. Where's Z when you need? I know, right? Yeah, when I try to end the stream. Now I'm a minute late. This shark. Uh, my wife's gonna kill me. Why were you late? I say it's it's because there was a shark. You don't understand. There was a shark. He was trying to get my stuff. I can't believe I can't believe you'd stream two minutes longer than you said you would. I'm telling you, it's a freaking shark. Couldn't just leave. Yeah, I wish I could do something more fancy. I don't know. All I know is that people people would do, uh, you know, uh, memberships or whatever on Twitch all the time for like, th was it $3 or $5? I can't remember. $5 a month? And, uh, and, every, and there would be so many kids and stuff that would say, oh, I wish I could be a member on your channel, but... Um, I just don't, my parents won't let me or whatever, and $5, whatever. So I finally was just like, okay, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to make a membership on the BZ Hub that's, uh, that's just $2. Something super low. I, I, honestly, I should just make it a dollar. Make it a dollar. That way you can be the, the lowest level member if you want to. You have, get to use all the emojis and whatnot. Goodness gracious, dude. Just get over here. Is there really any reason for you to fight this much? We're not even fishing for you. We wanted to catch catfish, not a shark. Stupid. We're fishing with large liver, not some fish head. Dummy. Get over here.
Come. Come up. Get out of there. Oh my god. This is one of the rare times where I almost want to yell out that freaking riverboat and just say, Shut up! I'm just fighting this damn shark, and I wanted to get in here so I can go to bed. <laughs> God. 20 feet. Get in the freaking boat. Just die. Give up on life already. Twenty feet, man. Finally. Good golly, a young bull shark. What a waste of flipping time. Anywho, everyone, I hope you had a good time. Uh, have a great one. We'll see you uh, next next uh, Monday, I guess. Have a good weekend. Go out, do some stuff. Wait a second. Is uh, Let's see here. Let's see this. We have... Um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, do you have Monday off? We got the 4th of July off. Hopefully you can maybe figure out a way to get Monday off and just have a nice little, uh, nice little four day weekend or something, huh? That'd be nice. Anyway, take care. We'll see you Monday. Have a good one. Bet it's nice up in the Northland <laughs> here, by the way. We'll ride on. KD's paw here. Oh. Very nice. <laughs> well, right on, man. Well, good to see you. Hey, we'll take care. We'll see you all on the Monday. That's it. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everyone. One family. Game on.